Hey everybody, Danny here from O'Reilly Auto Parts to show you how to change rear shock absorbers. Before I get into that, I wanna give you the opportunity to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Today, I'll be changing the rear shocks on this 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe, but procedures will vary slightly from one vehicle to the next, so be sure to know the specifics for your vehicle before getting started. If you're not completely comfortable doing this yourself, we'd be happy to recommend a professional technician in your area. Once you've got your supplies together, here's what you'll do. Jack up your vehicle and put it on stands. Start by removing the rear wheel where you'll be working. Then place a jack under the control arm. Raise the jack upwards slightly to relieve the tension of the suspension. The shock absorber will be connected to the top shock mount by a bolt and by a nut at the bottom shock mount on the suspension knuckle. There will also be a third bolt for the splash guard that bolts directly into the absorber. Use penetrating oil if needed to loosen the bolts and nut. Remove the top bolt with your socket wrench first. Then the splash guard bolt. and splash guard. Lastly, remove the bottom nut. You should be able to remove the shock absorber now. Start at the top by pulling it away from the shock mount. Then, push it away from the bottom shock mount. If you have trouble, you may need to use a pry bar and mallet to loosen the shock. Before installing a new shock absorber, it is recommended to manually pump them three to five times. When you do that, make sure the shock is oriented the way it will be in the vehicle, top side up. This primes the shock and reduces the break-in period by getting the hydraulic fluid and nitrogen gas redistributed correctly, since the shock has likely been sitting horizontally on a shelf and during shipment. If the shock is packaged with a band on it, you may want to wait until it's in place to cut the band. Once it's cut, the shock will extend fully. To install the new shock absorber, first make sure it's in the proper orientation so the splash guard at the base of the shock can be reinstalled correctly. Connect the shock to the bottom shock mount. Then, compress the shock and work it into the top shock mount. Reinstall and finger tighten the top bolt and the bottom nut. Use the third bolt to reinstall the splash guard. Torque the bolts and the nut to manufacturer specifications. Replace the wheel, and once the vehicle is lowered, tighten the lug nuts in a star pattern to manufacturer specifications. Always be sure all nuts and bolts are tightened to manufacturer specifications. Shocks should be replaced in pairs, so repeat these steps on the other side. And that's it! You'll find everything you need for this and other jobs at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or OReillyAuto.com. Our DIY videos are designed to help answer questions we get in our stores every day. If you found this one helpful, subscribe to our channel to get all the latest. We'll see you again soon.